universal test circuit to test n-type semiconductors, MOSFETs or bipolar uh, transistors. This is the experimental circuit. And I want to demonstrate now how that works. It's in fact very simple. We test the collector current or the drain source current. And that depends of course on the voltage that we apply to the gate from the MOSFET or the FET uh, or the base from the bipolar transistor. This is a circuit. The base or the gate are in fact in this circuit the same. Of course they are not the same uh, in terms of uh, electronic properties. But for a tester, test circuit, this doesn't matter. So what we do is we apply a voltage to the gate or to the base and that voltage is changed from maximum positive to negative or in fact zero here. So we turn the wiper from this potentiometer here and so we set our n-type uh, semiconductor into conduction or not. So we block the current here from the collector to the emitter or we make the current flow from the collector to the emitter or from the drain to the source. That's in fact the same. Of course the impedance from a MOSFET or a field effect transistor is very very high at its gate. So um, that's a, a, a different property, but in this circuit it's possible to uh, change the voltage to the gate or the base. And that gives this uh, circuit its properties. So turn the potentiometer here, around and around, up and down, etc., etc., and you will see the lights, sorry, the LEDs here, that they go on and off, and when they go on and off in a certain pattern, your uh, MOSFET or field effect transistor or germanium transistor or silicon transistor here is OK. I want to demonstrate it now. I have to put out the lights. I turn the potentiometer now and here you can see what happens. So when you see this pattern, when you turn the one mega ohm potentiometer up and down, you can be sure that your semiconductor is OK. I figured out all the resistances, sorry, the parallel uh, uh, resistors to the LEDs that um, they go on and off in a certain way. So this is this means that your semiconductor is okay. Wish you luck.